y'all and welcome to today's video. I need to get ready for my day. I want to use some newer products, some old favorites. I'm going to have lunch with a friend today and then I have a lot, a lot to get done today, but I want to put on some makeup. So I thought maybe we could get ready together. If you're new here, I want to say, Hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel. We don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week. So I hope that you will subscribe before you leave today, but I want to talk about like checking in, checking in now that we're coming towards the end of February. I set some goals for myself this year, how I'm doing on those. I want to hear from y'all. I want to put on some makeup. Let's jump into it. <music> hours. It's morning for me. I have a lot of things to do. So I'm going to use some tried and true favorites for my complexion. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is the one with the niacinamide, but they do make one without if that's more your speed. And then I'm going to use my NARS Soft Matte Foundation and my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Those are just go-tos. I've been testing a lot of new complexion products lately. Um, and hopefully I will have reviews for y'all soon. Uh, I just need to test them a bit more, but today is not a day where I can play around with foundation and concealer. Cause like I said, we're going to have this on for a long time and I don't want to have to worry about blotting my skin, touching up anything like that. So now that we're coming towards the end of February. February is kind of a short month, you know. I wanted to just kind of like check in on those goals that I made for myself for the new year. I know New Year's resolutions kind of get a bad rap. <laughs> I feel like they used to be all about like setting New Year's resolutions and being positive and working toward your goals. And then I, I feel like what I've heard people say, what I have heard people say in the small circle that I'm in is that New Year's resolutions are kind of pointless to make, that most people fail at their resolutions. And I understand that. I'm sure there's studies and statistics and things like that. But for me, I do like setting goals for myself, not just at the new year, but I always like to think like, how can I improve? What can I do better? What do I need to do? And I do feel like the new year is a good time to kind of reflect and think about things like that. So although maybe I don't call them New Year's resolutions, I do usually like to evaluate and kind of set some new goals for myself each year. So I talked to y'all in a get ready with me not too, too long ago about kind of some of the goals that I was setting. And one of the things that I said I wanted to get better about this year or one of the things more so really that I need to do and I need to think about is the busyness that I have in my life right now. And I am somebody who likes to be busy. I like to have things to do. I don't need a whole lot of downtime. I like to work hard, but I also, I, I'm realizing at the end of last year that I'm not making some time for things that do help me relax, that do like bring me joy. I feel like I've just gotten where I'm like busy, busy, busy. There's always something that needs to be done. And then these little things like that I like to do for myself are kind of getting pushed to the side. And then there's also areas of my life that I feel like are very important that I need to dedicate more time to, but right now I'm not able to because of the busyness. So I've been evaluating the past few months, really kind of some changes that I need to make. And 
don't worry YouTube is definitely not a part of that I love filming videos I love the editing process I love most like posting videos and talking with y'all in the comments and hearing from y'all but there's other things in life that I just I'm like okay this thing requires more time so what can I take off my plate okay I want to draw <laughs> this liquid bronzer on but going on about my goals well let me tell you what creams I'm going to use first so that I don't forget I'm using this Tarte Sculpt Tape and then I'm going to go in with a cream blush this is warm bronze and the cream blush is melt pink sand so I knew that setting these goals for myself like being less busy it wasn't gonna be like boom one thing I'm done it was gonna be a process that I'm gonna have to look at over time and it's gonna be something that yeah it's, it's really gonna be like kind of an all-year thing so I do homeschool my son and right now I use a local program and I love it so much but he's getting ready to kind of age out of this program so I know come fall time I am going to be a lot busier as far as teaching goes also the higher the grade the more difficult the material right so it's also just taking me a lot more time to prep before I teach so I know that come fall time I'm gonna need to dedicate more time to that and I need to start figuring out what can go so I have time for that I know I'm just rambling a lot but it's just something I've been been thinking about and then I've also been thinking about what do I like to do to relax? What's something for me that I would like to make more time for? So I'm gonna take the blush on the back of my sponge. Well, I need to pick up some more. The sponge is just about had it. It's starting to tear up, but um, I love to read. And right now I am only able to read about four books a month. And I would really like to have more time. I would like to have time every day to read. And that's something I need to make time for. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just kind of reevaluating, looking at things, talking with my husband, getting his input. It always helps to like bounce things like that off of someone else, you know. I want to add just a little more blush, so... <laughs> I'm gonna do that I'm gonna uh, yeah because I don't want to I don't want to go for a subtle blush look today I want my blush to be there okay I'm gonna set my face with my Givenchy Prismate Libre powder in the shade 4 and then I'm going to kind of buff and finish with my Juvia's Place Cameroon powder so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on my goals. I've definitely started taking some steps to free up some more of my time, but nothing concrete yet. But that's where I'm at. I feel happy with my progress. Like I said, one of the things I wanted to do was just start looking at what could go, start looking at what needs to stay and start remembering what I like to do to relax so yeah it may seem like nothing but to me <laughs> I feel really good about the progress and then hopefully before summer I'll have some more updates for y'all if you want updates but I would love to know what kind of goals have you set for yourself I always find it very inspiring to to hear from other people like what goals do you have? How are you working towards your goals? What have you maybe decided that you want to improve on? I just always feel so inspired. I was actually sitting with my husband last night. I was kind of scrolling Instagram and looking at different things. And there are so many creators who are just really putting out like beautiful makeup photos really creative things really beautiful swatches and just different things like that and I feel so inspired 
Um, I know a lot of times I hear people talk about, you know, like not comparing yourself to others. And of course, we don't need to compare ourselves to others. But I do like to kind of scroll and look sometimes and more get inspired by other people. I found it so inspiring to see other people working hard, other people being creative, other people pursuing their dreams, other people setting goals and kind of achieving those goals. And yeah, it kind of inspired today's get ready with me because I'm like, man, I just spent like 15, 20 minutes looking at what other people are doing, pursuing their passions, working for things. And it just, yeah, it really inspired me. And I was like, it could be fun to talk about like just checking in. What are you doing? How are you improving yourself, your life? I want to bronze up my face with my Fenty Sun Stalker Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. I did put on that um, Tarte Cream Bronzer, but I also just want to go in and bronze as well with the powder bronzer because more is more when it comes to makeup. Okay, I'm going to fill in my brows. Um, I'm going to do that really quickly off camera and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do a, another look with the Aero palette, Aero inspired palette from Adept. I did do a video with this palette. I did a look. I also uploaded a short that has a look with this palette, but I want to create another look for y'all, especially because this palette is is restocking. So I wanted to get this up for y'all. I want to use the BK Beauty Risa Does Makeup Lashes. I want to use her half lashes. So I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm going to prime my eyes and then we'll play with this palette and we'll talk some more. Okay, what I'm going to do, I primed my eyes with my Sigma Ignite Eye Primer and I really want to play with this olive today. I'm feeling the kind of more muted tones you know, like my shirt is dark. I've got, yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling the darker vibes. So I want to go in with this olive, but what I want to start with first is this really pretty kind of like, I mean, this is like a really shifty green shade. It looks like a true green. It looks like a yellow gold and I'm not going to spray my brush with anything because what I want to do is just pick it straight up on this brush and I want to start with this shade and I'm going to kind of put it in the front part of my crease. So right here where the crease is and then up and kind of over here. So I'm just kind of feeling along the socket of my eye right there. And then I'm also bringing it up a bit higher like that. So gonna be right here face on and then as I turn and I'm going about my day and living my life you're gonna be able to see even more of that okay now I want to work in this olive shade right here at James Holder I've really wanted to create something with this for y'all I've definitely been playing with this <laughs> when I'm not filming, but I don't think I've used this shade with y'all and it looks so pretty. It really looks like a deeper, darker, dirtier version of uh, Mythology from my palette with Adept. I really think these shades would pair beautifully with each other because this one is I feel like slightly more neutral leaning. I mean, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but this one definitely has more brown, whereas Mythology is a yellowy green and still very grungy and dirty. This one is almost more of like a brown olive, but I love this type of shade so much. I'm going to link everything that I talk about today in the description box. Uh, everything I use, if I forget to say something, definitely check the description box or you can ask me in a comment. But I wanted to also talk about like a more tangible goal because I know like freeing up my time is so kind of abstract. And like I said, that's something that we can talk about throughout the year if y'all want to. But just 
a goal that's definitely measurable that I want to get done and my husband wants to get done is cleaning out our attic. I don't even want to say it because I don't want to do it, but it's something that we've had on our to-do list for so long. My attic needs to be cleaned out. I have so much stuff up there. We've been in this house for, I think, eight years now. And there are boxes up there that I have not opened since I moved here that I literally took from our previous house and put in the attic here and I haven't opened. That means I don't need those things. If I haven't needed them in eight years, why do I still have those things? I don't even know what's in the boxes. If you were like, we'll give you $100 if you can guess what's in these boxes, I would guess, but I would probably be wrong. <laughs> so that is something that my husband and I are both like, okay, we have got to make time to clean out the attic and we need to do it before summer, before it gets really, really hot. Okay, I wanna go in with this multi-chrome on the lid. This is like a teal, blue, gray, green shifting shade. So I'm gonna pick that up on my brush. After I pick up the shadow on my brush, I'm gonna spray it and then I'll go in on my lid. Okay, I'm going to take this shade and I wanna put this all over my lid. I'm gonna take it up right there and then I'm just gonna drag it down 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 and around like this and I'm just pressing it on first and then I'll blend once I kind of have it all over that lid okay I want to take this Maybelline Pro Last Eye Pencil in Abby so it's a olive <laughs> type of shade and I just wanna put this in my waterline. I've never tried this before, so I don't know if this is a good eyeliner. I just bought it, so I'm just going to put it on the lower lash line and hopefully it stays on all day. Then I'm just going to buff it on the lower lash line with the same olive matte that we kind of used in the outer crease. And I'm just going to drag this back and forth to make it a little more smoky. Okay, now I'm going to highlight the inner corner. I know this is a super simple eye look. We're just going to use four shades. But I kind of like simple looks sometimes. Don't always have to overcomplicate things by using six, seven, eight shadows. I feel like just these four are gonna work together so well. And for the inner corner, I like that we have so many options, but I think I'm gonna do a matte inner corner actually. I think I'm gonna go in with this minty shade. Whoops, I just dipped into the yellow. Well, let's mix the yellow and the mint. How about that? There we go. Just a pop like that. And then I'm gonna use the black liquid liner from Adept and these Risa half lashes and then I'll come back because I want to do powder blush and I want to put on some highlighter so let me throw on the liner the lash and I'll be right back okay I really like these lashes from Risa does makeup and BK beauty the half lashes martini super duper pretty really liking my eye look feeling great about that I just want to quickly go over top of that cream blush with my Chucky Blush Duo from Glam Light. I'm just going to do a small amount, not a ton, to kind of go over that melt blush. I think this pinky color is going to be really pretty with our green eye look though. Now for highlight, I want to go with a green highlighter. I'm feeling it. I want to carry that on. So I have my Unearthly Cosmetics Low Light Palette. And I want to mix this one, Extra Terrestrial and meteor, me, Meteoroid. Meteoroid. That was kind of a tongue twister. So I'm just going to dip a little bit into each one and then just kind of sweep this highlighter on. This is one of my favorite highlighter formulas. 
I really need to do some updated favorites videos for y'all because I know I did a yearly favorites for last year, but it was all like products that had launched that year. So I need to just do like an, a complete updated favorites video that can be on my goal list. <laughs> okay, let's do lips. Now my lips have been dry lately. So I wanted to go in with something that's gonna be pretty hydrating. This is the Nude Venus Lip Fetish Divine Lip Shine from Pat McGrath. Like I said, I need my makeup to last all day, but normally I would go in with a liquid lip when I want my lips to last all day, but since they've been a more on the dry side, I know I'm probably gonna be putting on chapstick throughout my day, so I don't really mind reapplying my lip color. So I'm just gonna line with my one size lip liner. Now once I have that down, then I'll go in with my Pat McGrath. I really like this formula. It's super nice. It feels creamy. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna set everything down with my All Nighter Urban Decay Vitamin C Setting Spray. All right, y'all, this is our complete and finished look. Please do share with me down in the comments if you'd like some goals that you're working on, some things that you wanna accomplish this year. I would love to hear from y'all and I would love to encourage you to keep going with your goals. I wanna say you can do it because we can. We can achieve our goals. It's towards the end of February. It's a good time to check in, keep going. Maybe you haven't even started working on the things that you wanna accomplish. And today is a perfect day to start. I hope you're having a great day. Please do subscribe if you like today's video. Let me know if you wanna see more get ready with me chatty style videos. And I will see y'all very soon in another one. Bye.